by the way, so all your video parts that we pulled, like you did, you've done like no, some shit. beast rails, bro. Yeah, I, I mean, I was always, I've always been a fan of that aspect of it, just finding something and just one way down, like just yeah. trying to conquer A to B. Like I don't know. <laughs> I love it, man. Where, where, where the hell is this? This is uh, uh is that's not tour or something. Wait, that's an album. It's not famous. It's got a famous C rail. It's, I mean, I, I huh. can't believe I can't remember. It's got to be Albuquerque or so, El Paso. Okay. It's either Albuquerque or it's got to be Albuquerque. <laughs> What's C rail? Oh, um, the big fat square one that a lot of people, I should be able to remember one trick that somebody's done on it, but apparently I can't. Um, is it curved or something? Yeah, it's like a complete C. Let's it's see. gone now, actually, but it was a pretty hot spot. That's what we went there to look, but that rail's there, oh, too. Okay. And So you just came across was, this rail? Yeah, and it was like 11 or new. It was early in the day. It was the first spot that we checked out, mm. and I like saw this option and was like, I want to grind this thing, but like we should go get food and like warm up <laughs> and stuff and... We're like, yeah, that'd be great. We all like to eat and stuff. And, uh, I was like, I'm just going to get my, I just want to take a couple like run ups or something. And then it turned into like all in on. And like, I made it to just about the end in the first like 10 minutes. And it literally turned into an entire day meltdown of, I went through two full sets of batteries for my speaker. And what was the problem? You just, wow. you couldn't get past that last. Uh, I turn? don't know. I just kept fucking losing it. When you when you grind something like that, like you have too much time to think about it. That's and once true. it turns into a deal, as soon as you start your process, you're just like, is this the one? I sure hope this is the one. I'd sure <laughs> like to go drink a beer and, with the boys over there and like join in on all the <laughs> Flick some ash. reindeer yeah. games they've been playing while I've been out here losing my head <laughs> and um, I will say, dude, I saw some video of you f flipping out, and I think it was the like I, I laughed so fucking hard, dude. No, no, yeah. no. It was the it was the it was the kinker. We actually talked about it, I think, on the show. Oh, it was uh, no, 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 not this one. The uh, that one, no freak outs. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where was it? This one. This one. Yeah, that was a nightmare, dude. Because <laughs> you did have some type of edit out where it was showing you all the the bails and slams, and weren't you saying that yeah. like uh, the cops rolled up? on this like right uh, yeah we'd gotten i mean that was my third time back for it a whole plane flight whole trip back just for that because it was trying to get my ender for the x games real street mm -hmm. and every time like i'd almost grind it i'd take some bad slams and then we get kicked out and the second time i was really close and the cop pulled up tried one more time and then I just laid on the ground and then he like called me over with a loudspeaker and he was just a real piece of work right oh. from the get go. And just like gave me the whole thing that they do of like, can't you read the signs and like blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. oh, and he also tried to say he used to skateboard and he also gave me a ticket right away, even though I was trying to like show him my out of state ID. Like he wasn't the same cock that, cop that, I said, cock, cock. <laughs> uh, he wasn't the same one that kicked me out um, before. So as far as he knows, it was my first time. I was just some dude from Washington, sure. or Oregon. Well, the dude, the dude said he used to skate and gave you a ticket. I hate when people do that. Yeah, when people worst. say they used to skate, I'm like, if you used to skate, you'd think this was cool, and you wouldn't be such a fucking dick right now. And yeah. like, I just had a, I hit a breaking point when he hit me with the. Um, Cause I was trying to tell him, I didn't know like this was such a big deal or whatever. Cause I'm not from here or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Oh, you can't read the signs or whatever. I'm like, uh, and I just went off and <laughs> it was bad, man. I, I got, I told him to shoot me in the head. Cause I didn't want to, yeah, I was gone, dude. I was <laughs> in the, like, and you were lost. I was in the never trip, aggressive. Right? I like told him I didn't want to live in the same world with people as shitty as him. And like, <laughs> yeah. um, dude, the film, I, we had none of it's on film. Cause he was just like, dude, this was too gnarly to film. Like I couldn't even, I didn't know what was happening, man. Like, and, um, <laughs> what was his response to all he, that? He said that he was gonna have to take me somewhere. Cause like he was worried about my safety. And I was like, don't act like you fucking care about me. If you cared about me, you wouldn't give me a fucking ticket. And like, I just couldn't get back in the van with everyone after not getting this and every, I was, I was like oh. telling him, yeah, it was, it was bad. And he 
called it like three other cop cars showed up and oh. he tore the ticket up oh, really he, yeah and never had the cops never do that like i've never That's had that happen rad. ever i mean he was a dick though for sure from the start but he finally tore the ticket up ticket wow. up and i i still called him an asshole as i turned away and walked like oh. i got back to the crew and they were just like my like everyone's just looking at me like <laughs> eyes wide like how the fuck did you just do that like <laughs> and get away with it get away yeah. with it right mm -hmm. well dude you're talking shit to a cop they'll i'm surprised they didn't take you like arrest you or some shit yeah that ego. Uh, yeah for yeah. sure i've yeah. definitely now done way less and gotten in way more trouble and then so the third time you went back you got the clip no cops yeah they caught they showed up right after i landed it perfect it was such, I mean, every time was like a couple hours and Jeez. I knew I just needed like a little bit more and I sacked it a couple times. I think I snapped my wrist on one of them. And oh, yeah. Th those, those, those tight kinkers. I mean, I have no idea, but I could, I, I would imagine that those are really tough to, you know, okay, get through those, get through them. Wait, yeah, where where was that rail or where is that rail? I mean, now I mean it's crazy. The stuff people grind these days, this is almost just like embarrassing to even like <laughs> look at this and be like, this was such a fucking nightmare. Like people are fucked these days. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's true, but this is uh, you I mean, know that's, yeah. this is no joke, bro. Yeah, don't take away from yourself, yeah. Bro. Well, because I was because so this was on a trip that you were on. Um, when we first found it, I was just on a little mission with my car two boys san jose homies down to um uh, redlands and we were just skating there's skating a bunch of shit and oh, okay found that and no one had ever grinded i was kind of surprised that no one had grinded it hmm. that was one of the nightmares about that rail it had the oh. this fresh paint on it that like chipped away and stuck in your trucks oh, so gotcha. i had a few that's when i got sacked and like broke my wrist and stuff is because i'd be grinding thinking everything was good and then whoosh fucking wow stop yeah. head over heels man what i'm gonna have to crack another can after watching this yeah go ahead bro go <laughs> ahead from this, this is, uh, i we'll, love we don't want to bring back any bad memories man uh, i love when you landed it man you saw like you like fall into the ground yeah. i was like man the re I felt the relief right there. What about this one, dude? This one was a uh, this one was really impressive, man. The the fifty fifty uh, body burial. Fuck yeah, that was yeah. sick, bro. Did that proper as hell too. Damn, was this is this trying to make me look like a trendsetter right now? Yeah. <laughs> Comfortable, because I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but this is a while ago, right? This is your the trans world part. And that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. Was that a, was that a trick that you just wanted to try, or did you think about it at the at, uh, at the spot? Um, I thought about it because I've been doing it at skate parks, mm, and gotcha. I wanted to find a street rail. And seeing that one from the videos called Cannon's infamous balanced nose grind, one mm. of the oh yeah, it's gotta be still one of the sickest handrail tricks fucking done. Just a perfectly balanced nose grind. Was that Cole Cannon? Yeah, mm -hmm. so sick. Damn, that's awesome. You did that so comfortable, bro. Fuck. Yeah. 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 I'm assuming that Malto wasn't there on this one, huh? <laughs> Dude, I haven't ran. I haven't got to run into Malto yet since then to fucking really get to the down to the brass tacks and things. And <laughs> fight him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we have a, it, it, this, this goes back, man. This is, <laughs> yeah. we, we talked about it on Dave's first episode that he was on here. Um, they, they were filming for the Transworld video, correct? You and Malto yeah. and um, you, Dave, he could probably explain this better. I'm just trying to give a long short of it. Mm -hmm. He got hurt and never wanted to skate with Malto. He, you thought Malto it might have. It one time. It was like every, there was like five incidents in a row where like everything was fine. Then the second Malto would show up, I'd wind up hurting myself. <laughs> something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> And it was never anything like we got to go on this again, like never anything against him as a like he was always the raddest dude the whole time. Like I, just, I felt horribly embarrassed about myself because I'd been the most opposite of the raddest dude. I just like <laughs> gotten hurt on something stupid and then usually like had a meltdown because of it. <laughs> so I, I felt a little embarrassed of my actions for sure. But oh my like, goodness. So Malta then, was like the bad like luck guy. Like essentially, <laughs> I do right? yeah, pretty much. I got in my head more than I do now. Now I've just fucking realized that stuff's gonna happen oh. no matter what. But I definitely used to be a 
a little bit of a superstitious dude. I had that period where I wouldn't take any like things I got on my any of my bracelets off from mm. like events or whatever because I had <laughs> some incident where like as soon as I took it off, I got like snapped my foot or something. Oh, geez. oh wow! So that went on for a while and. But still have the scully and yeah god the we, things we think about bro. no i know and then know, you so dave weird. was on the show and then malto was on the show we brought it up to malto because malto i don't think malto even had any idea right. he was just like oh dave never <laughs> skates in front of me anymore it's weird wait i thought he knew because he talked about it on his, i think before yeah, did he know or did he not know? i don't know if he I knew during he the process maybe after maybe he after he i think he said i don't even remember now <laughs> Should have done my research. You guys are the ones supposed to know. All I, know, I know, I know. Sorry, Dave. Oh, wow. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> anyway, but no blood, no bad blood. It's just you know, just Malto, and he. Not, I, I think no, he, not at all. I sure hope not. Yeah, Malto's awesome, dude. Yeah, definitely. Um, but let's keep this going. You got uh, this is um, I love shit like this, bro. This is and this is the type of stuff that I love about you, bro. The, <laughs> the street kayak is. <laughs> Dude, that did not work exactly how planned, but we got it done. <laughs> did it just start going and did they push someone push you? Dude, that's a steep. No, I didn't have to get pushed at all. It's, you know, it just, um, I mean, we had to tie that board on no matter. It took a bunch of tries. Like I didn't even realize there was a fucking a board under there. Once you get going, the speed wobbles just. <laughs> like. There, it's sketchy because there's a big dock that you can't see to the side. And I was really scared that one of the time, like one of these times, it was just going to veer straight into the wall. Oh my gosh. Look how Oh, and we lost the board the first time. I forgot about that. The first attempt, the board got lost in the water. And I was swimming under the dock, like fucking going scuba exploring, finding it. And then we found it, and it, of course, like worked even worse. All the <laughs> I love how it Super starts wiggly. off all squirrely. <laughs> like <laughs> I didn't know there was a board in there at first, bro. That's why I was like, "Wait, how did I fucking?" Oh all right. my god, fucking dude, 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 in your fucking face, straight, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's concentrating. I'm sure. It's so sick. Uh, Oh, but I love it how it's, it's squirrely, squirrely, <laughs> and then as soon as you hit the water, it's like, okay, cool, we're good. We're yeah, good. We're good. I, pulled, I pulled my pole out and got a got a cast out. It took me a second because my fly line was stuck on the guide Perfect at the top. Wait, <laughs> That's probably the best clip we've ever reviewed on this uh, yeah, show, Yeah, straight bro. up. Wait, wait, what was that for? Um, That Bronson part. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, the, that's right. That's right. Yeah, we that was we filmed a couple like oh my god nature shots. A lot of the stuff with the dogs because there was in the original song that never got used. There was lines about the dogs helping him like get through like life basically, which was key to me at that time. Hmm. Wow, that that is just too good. That's too oh, good. I should have had that. I could actually have that on loop. That's yeah, I, think I, I, I for sure would. That's, <laughs> do that oh. to the next guy. Dude, a hundred percent. Like, put that on his loop. And like, what is this? What is that? <laughs> That's fucking. We should have every guest review this video. And oh see my the reaction. God. <laughs> it's so good. What do you think about wow. this? Dude, that's uh, wow! I haven't laughed that hard in the show for a long I don't, time. I almost fell over. I I just, I fell over. <laughs> that's rare to see Chris laughing on the show. Ooh. By the way, <laughs> God damn, dude, fucking dick. This one's a good one too, though, because it's so. Like, dude, come on, dude, backflip, dude, dude. What dude. the hell? I'm drinking that fucking beer right oh, now. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want to be so obvious in my product placement, but now I just have the perfect <laughs> dude. Look yeah. at that. Oh, Damn. amazing. That's so sick. Wait, did somebody shoot Dude. that photo? Who who shot that? That was the boy. That was Kami. Co Dave, Dave Kami. Ooh, amazing. The man, Dave the myth, the legend. is the man. No, God, what I you, missed, I, it's been way too long. Since I love I Dave, bro. Yeah, he is. Um, fuck. What was the... Did you... Have you tried that before? Or... Because it seems like... Especially at a concrete park, it seems like very sketchy Hell to just yeah. try yeah the like, first attempt, yeah, first attempt was, that one was right? definitely the i mean I, it wasn't my first backflip for sure okay but it was definitely the most it was the first one that didn't really have a a test water that much because like i really didn't want to i had this vision of jamming my knee into that uphill roller <laughs> like oh. bailing one and stiff 
stiff legging that oh. uphill. Oh wait, interesting. Yeah. Okay, I never even like had, would th- think about that. Yeah, so I didn't there. want to half attempt it, which was right. weird to me to go that. Which was my other my two biggest points in that was the scaredness of jamming my knee, and then also I'd never done a flip where you had no flat bottom in between. That's pretty much just a roller into the jump. Gotcha. And one of my life lessons that I learned from doing backflips on a skateboard was don't ever, you have to be calm in your takeout left. Don't ever try to squeeze one in when you're like, maybe I don't have the speed. Maybe I'm a little off center. Just mm. throw a flip. Like you have to be very, because <laughs> I did that once and it fucking went awful. Oh. But like well, you, you were just like, be, oh, fuck it. I'm going to try it. Like whatever. And then got it smoked. was the day I got my thrasher cover of the big 50 50 in El Paso. I was oh, so wrecked from that. And I'd already started drinking and we had a demo that day. And we went to a demo and I hate being the dude who doesn't do anything. To, like, I don't want to, if I can physically ride a board, I will ride it during a demo. Like right. just, I mean, I don't know. It's less awkward than standing around talking to everyone while you're not skating. And <laughs> um, I was figuring I'll get out there, just try my best for a second, throw it, get a backflip fly out, then just go like retreat to the van for a bit. Sure. And, I hadn't really tested the waters. I'd like pumped a corner wrong, like was going. I was like, I don't know, whatever, and tried it. And someone had video of it. I don't remember where it was, but I held the grab for a second and realized that I am not rotating. Like I'm going to land on my head if I don't (laughs) spring out of this. Oh, my God. Barely barely got out of that one. So that was the thing about that Klamath Falls one that scared Mm. me was going into it without the calmness of a straightaway, like to get ready to throw your weight back. Gotcha. Didn't end up being an issue. And then I realized that I threw some to the side. That's how I got used to it. I tested, I threw some off the edge into the dirt, dirt, Mm. which was kind of weird as well. It was to try one off a hit, like, angled like that i'd never really done that but huh well how many uh, tries did it take at at the end of the day um it honestly didn't uh i think i landed maybe the second or third one amazing that i tried amazing but then i did a few more to try to do more of a tuck knee well, I just love how like your upside it your your head is already looking for the land like you're yeah you have to i mean i guess but when you're upside down, that's crazy. Your head stays exactly where you're looking the yeah. entire time. That's or when what... you're halfway through, at least. Right. Yeah, that's that's how flips work. You spot your landing. And... I know, but I just c- couldn't even imagine <laughs> having the sense of being upside down, discombobulated, yeah. like spotting yeah. my landing. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just yeah. me. I've never done, I've never like flipped on, I've never flipped over, but. And you got high too, bro. <laughs> Look at that it. fucking he thing. He whipped the fuck out of that. That worked out great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. thanks guys that was that was a wild wild day wild sesh amazing that commie shot was, that too and it's on a beer it's on a black plague beer can yeah they so did sick. a trans world collab where like there's three and me matt hensley and Nigel houston are all like wow. investors of black plague so amazing. and we've all had trans world covers so um yeah let's see that again let's see it again oh beer. Can, yeah yeah Boom. Yeah, I don't normally. This I only have a one of these left. I was only. Oh, I was like, man. I looked at it in the kitchen when I went in the kitchen there to get a beer. I was like, look, it's looking at it. Time. Like, ah, it's a special occasion. <laughs> like, yes. I found that one, and then Here you guys we... pulled the a fucking clip out. Like, Perfect I feel time. like people are gonna Timing. see that, like, see that, and be like, they planned that. But no. Hey, dude. Not at all. That dude. happens quite often over here. That's for sure. Hey, shit happens, man. What kind of beer is that? Like, uh, what, what? Uh, this style? is an IPA. It's Indian Pale Ale. Okay. Ooh. What's the alcohol yeah, percentage a little darker. on that? Do you know that? Oh, uh, um, I should know. See, I'm, st- I'm, I gotta learn more about my brands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, six point eight. Okay. Ooh. Get him. Perfect. Mm-hmm. I mean, what about this clip? This is uh. I like this one, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, dude I mean, it's so weird how many times. <laughs> yes. yes. 
That, uh, let me tell you something. That has to be, even though that there's water there, you're hauling at, that has to be a scary transfer. Like that has to be the scariest oh, jump fun. to, bro. Yeah. It's scary, a, it's it's scary as uh, for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be, I'd mean, be so he's scary. He's going fast for sure. <laughs> I was just so glad that one worked. I literally, I lost my board again. First attempt that we tried that. Oh, like it's really <laughs> holding, that's Kevin Beckel holding the um, boogie board. Mm. And it's a really fucking hard thing to do to get that boogie board to stay in the right imagine. position. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. A stick. Yeah. Like the first time I went, the boogie board was in a terrible position. I couldn't even get a slightest bit of a ride to it. And, uh, I lost, yeah, I lost my board it's down, down there, fucking still in the water somewhere. There's probably so many boards down there for anyone willing to get them. <laughs> and uh, wait a minute, called where? my roommate had to come drive down to the spot. He had to go through my like rooms looking for all the stuff he needs to build a complete skateboard, oh. and brought it all down to me so I could set up an entire brand new complete and be. I was so scared. I was just going to lose that one in the water oh first go God. as well. And luckily it worked out second attempt. And my board, I think <laughs> Kevin had to do a flying leap to like get my board from the water. So he really, he really killed it that day. What, what inspired you to do this? <laughs> I, I don't know. Man. <laughs> I think I just wanted to do it. it just, I, it's weird. Cause that ramp has been like in the intro of like, three video parts or something for me all um, in different wow. ways like oh, isn't it wow in your video parts yeah wow um, wasn't isn't uh brent actually brent actually was the first person to use it in a video part huh and then in i think it was in my and now intro or maybe it was i know i had one clip where i bombed down it and just do like a lawn dart front flip 180 like into the mm. water and there's a b big sign saying, like, do not go in the water. <laughs> Wait, I, I you, just realized there's a piece of wood that you have to jump over. It's a metal. No, it's a metal fucking oh. bar. Oh, yeah. I and there's like there's a metal that. grate right before you get to the concrete. There's a metal grate that really like shakes your feet up. Oh, my. So it's that's dude. that's a metal grate right there. Right. Yeah. yeah and then I didn't even realize you had to jump over that bar. Huh. Sketchy. That's what dude. I'm saying. It could be that's a, I I'd be terrified. I wanted I want I think I really wanted to just know I wanted to see how far like I had I wanted to ride further than that. <laughs> <laughs> but we we took that one. I like in the beginning of this part or the footage, there's this guy in a bike like looking at you like, what are you doing? Like he's like what <laughs> like, Dude, I get that. Wow. So wait, how many times that how many tries did that take you? Um, like two. Yeah, I think that was two, but they were just really I mean about two hours in between each one and a right. real pain in the ass. Yeah. Who went after the boogie board? Or did you just leave it? Um I was doing most of the swimming, I believe, okay. that day. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kevin You're was already ready in the water. To rescue swimmer if he needed to be. Dude. But, <laughs> Wow! If it was a surfboard, it might have been a different outcome for sure. Yeah, think that's I true. Got further, I think so. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Go back. Yeah, you, I could. You I might want to do that. Go one up yourself. Were you trying? Was there another dock out of picture, friend, that you could have gone to or something? Surf too. Yeah, no, let's just wide out into the Willamette. Okay. Okay. Wow, Good. man. Yeah, I love shit like this. Look at, <laughs> yeah, look at, right. look at Surfer Dave. Straight wow. up, dude. Boogie board, Dave. Boogie yeah, board. I can I can surf wherever there's not sharks. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great. Yeah, that's a good for sure. Yeah, don't wanna get out of those sharks, bro. What about this one, man? This is a long fifty-fifty, bro. A little bit, jeez. Yeah, that like, was a, dude. The whole time I was thinking, should I try to kick flip out? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. I felt so locked in, and I was like, "Fuck, dude, I should fucking go for it," but. <laughs> Actually, I threw my back out that morning. Like, I, my back went out at the skate park that morning. That's like, I don't normally take Advil or I try not to take any pills of anything. But right. that day, I remember I fucking whacked down some fucking Advil for sure. And Damn. You worked it out. And you still got. Mm -hmm. with, yeah, the, with the fucked up back, that's, man, that's commendable, bro. That's Wait, sketchy, so dude. 
You didn't wait. That's crazy. You were gonna kick a bit, but you're like, oh, I'm gonna play it safe and just grind it because even just grinding that rail is not. I didn't want it because it kind of took a while to get to. And it's just weird how the rails work. You'll get like I think I was just getting about halfway, 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 and then you just find that one where you're like, well, and you know it. Yeah, I think that's why it's so rad is that feeling of, of enjoying a trick longer. Like when you're trying like a fakey tray, fucking switch front crook, kick flip out. It's hectic as fuck. Like right. the whole time, like you're like. There's not much when you land on it, you're kind of in a moment of shock, like, yeah. oh my god, not that I've ever done one and know what you're feeling <laughs> like, <laughs> but I imagine you'd be in a mo like it's when I do a fucking switch nose manual fakey flip or something. I'm yeah. like, but the whole time, I'm like, my body's stressing trying to fight like the grind or the manual, and like, but when you grind a big rail, you have a good amount of it, you're like, well, this is in the bat, like got this up this is gone you could kind of enjoy it yeah enjoy it enjoy yeah, it yeah definitely yeah so i, I can see why you would want to do that kickflip at the end especially if you were set up but like you also want to just get the land let me just land this shit right. i know why didn't you keep trying it to do the kickflip dude because my back was really mm. fucked oh, okay. i think i did try like i gave it like 10 more or something okay. like that but oh. i didn't make it to the i mean you did that with your back again. hurting bro like That's think real. about this is a skater like putting it all out there and like wanted to get it done that day and he got that you know what i'm saying that then you want to dig deeper and you're fucking hurt yeah How especially your back this? yeah your back's no joke yeah fucking hurt my back putting on my goddamn socks and shit <laughs> same dude i uh, straight up yeah. we've all been there yeah i hurt my back just sleeping <laughs> it's true dislocated my oh, hips shit. sleeping see oh <laughs> Good God. Like getting hurt in your sleep's no joke, man. I, I yeah. do talk about it on the show. But, Dislocated um, my shoulder sleeping. Yeah. Damn. Really? Mm -hmm. My man. Dude. What happened? Did you fall off the bed or something? No, I mean I hurt myself in '99. Like I fucking tossed myself on this like double-sided fucking yellow. Uh, I think it was like a freeway divider in in oh, Canada. 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 Oh, Canada. I knew, yeah, I knew yeah. it was Canada as soon yeah. as you said. I got fucking. <laughs> bro I got broke and instantly my shit was out of place. And the, what I knew instantly to do was reach for the fucking sky and my shit went back in oh right and like i chilled for like i was like damn okay cool i went to go sit in the car for a second my shit popped out in the car i was like just chilling and the shit I got, oh. got, 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 pulled the fucking car open reach oh. for the sky again it went back in i'm oh like my oh my god dude what the fuck dude, reach for the, that's a hectic technique yeah i just reached for the fucking think... sky and my shit just went back in that's definitely not worked for me <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't know. That was my like natural though, thing to do, and it That's fucking worked. So. Bro, yeah, it's, yeah. But it's, so it's I just feel like you on that shoulder shit. Is no joke. What about this oh, one, bro? Dave. Back five zero, -oh, Dave. This is uh, dude. dude. Now we, I really what, taking it back. Well, what's interesting is I didn't even realize that this was El Toro. Yeah, why did you skate the other side? The other side. Dude, because there was a potluck going on. Everything is just always got to be fucking crazy. In my <laughs> potluck? <laughs> there was a potluck. It was such a fucking... Dude, I, I this was like the second foot, like time I'd ever like skated with like professional dudes in any way. Like, wow. I think the second photo I'd ever shot. Like, it's my first time coming down to California, like by myself. Psyched. As, just trying to come down and do damn am and I rode flow for like Volcom. So I was staying at the Volcom house and just mentioned that I wanted to go to El Toro and stuff. And then everyone just built like, Oh yeah. Like, and to me, it felt like there's no way out. Like these guys, like fucking big time photographers and dudes are going to come out there with me like i have to do it like right. there's no way out and it was so nerve-wracking the whole time i'd never even been to the rail i just started doing salads like that trip down it was all like oh shit wow. yeah i mean that that's the first part of it that's just another one of those weird things in my life where i'm just like how how does this stuff like this is one of the good luck things this is one of the bad luck things but on the way down we stopped at this 13 rail in Oregon mm -hmm. and I was trying to decide what should really good rail. And I was going through what tricks to try. And I had already like had a bunch of crooked grinds, bunch of feebles, bunch of back fifties, bunch of back lips. And I hadn't really, I never really saladed like any rail really. And I was like, maybe I'll try one of these. Like 
fucking kind of just thought I'd throw it out there and mm. I landed it first try, but the filmer was filming Vince DeValle take a piss oh. and <laughs> missed it. And uh, so then I was going to redo it, but then we started getting kicked out. So I redid it while we're getting kicked out, but the filmer was filming Vince dealing with the guy kicking us out oh instead of me doing God. the trick again. No way. So then I ran up and was like, fuck, get this one. And like went up and did it a third time. So it all went three in a row. And that's where it all started was that session. Yeah. Like doing that back salad on that 13, three times in a row was what got me thinking about this whole process. And then at the damn am course, they had a big fucking circle rail that was perfect to like practice on. So then I, yeah, that's when I said to someone that I was thinking about wanting to check it out to back salad and made the plan to do it on the day. I went back after this and skated the contest. Like this is Saturday of damn am like left the contest. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Check out El Toro. And there's a fucking potluck going on. Everyone's just like, okay, like not going to work out. And I'm like, man, I don't want to go deal with this whole content. Like I can't even focus on anything till like, this goes down and I actually 50 50 date with no cameras. No, like just to show people that like I'm doing this, like (laughs) you won't ever find the clip of me 50 50 in El Toro, but I certainly didn't start with that and 50 date. And then they're like, okay, he's going to do it. And I don't know why everyone says this side's so bad. Like to me at the time, especially like, I don't want to be like some, I'm from Seattle. I fuck grew up skating way tough shit. Now you fuck dudes. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. Um, to me, I was like, man, this thing doesn't even have a crack before the takeoff. Nothing else mattered to me at that time. Like we, and it just, it's rough ground to the last 10 feet. I yeah. believe is what it was. That's what it is. Yeah. And like, that was way better than anything I was used to at the time. Yeah. And so there's nothing. So there's no difference between that set and the other set there's no, except uh, the ground and everything like they're, it's, exa- think, it's an exact replica pretty much yeah i believe so pretty much it's just yeah the run-ups huh. better on the other one see i had and, no hmm. idea that that one even existed mm-hmm. i mean yeah, there's no a, el toro el toro yeah. whatever who but did, we started getting kicked out like the second it started and the fence you see that fence that was a yeah the security guard pulled it across the oh, rail and figgy okay. like pulled it figgy was there and david loy and figgy pulled the fence back and uh was like telling me to go and i was like yeah okay i'm going and then that dude ran in front of yeah. the camera guy yeah i saw that yeah i was so upset about that like i thought it was kind of funny or whatever but he was in tears like <laughs> it was Damn. so wait a minute is this still there I don't know. I don't know, actually. Because I'm wondering, because they redid the, you know, they put the skate stoppers on there and like bars and whatever. They they messed up the other one. And, but is this one still there? They did probably they, did the same thing. Probably. I'm assuming. I didn't even know this one existed. It's yeah. crazy. It's literally like, it's exactly the same. Right there to the right of it. If wow. you're looking at the stair, yeah. So basically you, you back 5 0 El Toro. Yeah, I mean, you did. Yeah, this is El Toro. That's uh, crazy. I didn't yeah. know that that was a... Yeah. That was there. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that started my, I mean, that started everything. How old were me. you right there? Um, 17. 17. Because wait, didn't, did Brian Herman skate that side too? Who? I don't. I've only, I've seen like one other person get footage of it. I've never, uh, I don't, mm-hmm. if I, I have, even, I didn't even tell the difference. Yeah, they look the same. The yeah. But, hmm. Wow. Interesting. Back five. Back, well. Amazing. And you were getting flowed by Creature at the time, or were you on Creature? Yeah, I was, well, Creature had, like, just started. I had a photo in the article, their very first article, even though I didn't ride for Creature at the time. That's when I just bumped into him at the skate park. Another random ass, what the fuck's going on in my life moment. And uh, then I was also flow for Duff's. And, like, that day, or the day before, I met Dave Huang, the Duff's team manager, and, like, I mean, he wasn't, a, he was totally friend. Like he was perfectly nice guy to me, but I'm just some flow kid. Like he didn't have anything like, wasn't offering anything to me at the time or whatever. And then I came back from this and everyone, the word got around that I just like sell El Toro. Oh. And then all of a sudden I had like so many like action from everyone and like Isn't that crazy went straight from like Dave Wang came up and asked if I wanted to go, they were leaving straight from there on a Duff's trip. 
And oh, shit. so that's oh, when I went gosh. on my first trip with a company it was got in, went with Duff's to Oklahoma and went to the make a wish benefit in Austin. We would, we, I did that trip two years in a row with them, which that's was so sick. How crazy. It was really fun. It was, I mean, it was totally, I, it was really weird for me though, as some no name, like, kid from Issaquah, Washington that had no idea how the skateboard industry worked at all or how anything was going down. And I was by far the youngest dude on the trip, hmm. only dude who wasn't 21. So I was, I was a bit of an outcast. I had to get the Dave Wang and Pat Rakestraw took me aside in the van and <laughs> talked to me like, Oh, we, we could tell like you're having a bit of a tough time out here. Like you just got to, like these guys have all been friends for like a really long time. And like, you, you can't just like come in and be like part of their crew and stuff like it. Mm. And I've, it's, it's, I've seen this almost go down to so many people, but that Takes was me. Time. Like, you know, and so Takes a little time. I didn't, yeah. I just tried to come in too hot, I guess, and be really good friends with everyone. And they were kind of like, you're just some kid who jumped on El Toro and is trying to like take our job basically. That, and that's <laughs> kind of what it could seem like. Yeah. It's like, slow sure. down little buddy. Slow down. <laughs> Yeah, That's yeah, crazy, it was it was a it was a wild one, and but I learned a Man. I learned a lot. It's so crazy back in the, back then. I mean, even today, it's like one one trick yeah. can put you on the map. It's so crazy. That's crazy. It really is. This is a trick. Yeah, the trick is just staying there once you <laughs> once you get there. Totally That's a key right there. Straight yeah, on. like you that could have ruined your whole thing when you got uh, in the trouble with the guys like on the road, like. If you dealt with that differently, you might have not be here right yeah. now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like stuff like that yeah, like, for, goes a long I mean, way. For real, yeah, for real. Definitely. I mean, I honestly don't think I was that bad, but I think it was a bit of a. Well, I think it was the circumstances. <laughs> yeah, I wanted right? to skate way too much, which is. <laughs> Isn't like, that funny? Like jumping out of the van, yeah. first yeah, guy out remember, there, like, trying to jump on shit. Yeah, yeah. dude, I remember getting shock. told like yeah. we went to this really rad rail and like, um. Nuge was looking at it and uh he had kind of said he was over it and then I said that I really wanted to grind it and Rodent was like I'm not trying to throw anyone these are just stories sure. and I love all these guys like and I understand where everyone's coming from on it but it's just kind of funny and it's like I don't need a I don't need a photo of you grinding this I need a photo of Nuge grinding this like oh wow yeah I mean yeah he I also told me to go sit in the car until we get to a handrail once. <laughs> <laughs> damn <laughs> I was doing too. I was doing too many street grabs. This was also a different time where stuff was hated on. Way like sure, you did body. You did like. Um, I did a lot of stuff that maybe That's wasn't amazing. considered fucking rad at the time. Right. And, well, there even was like, definitely a. Um, yeah. What do you like a standard? Well, we did the fifty fifty body burial. Like back then, that was like kind of like whoa, that's kind of random, but right. like gnarly at the same time. Fuck yeah, you know, straight up, but. Now people yeah. are doing it. Yeah, that's Austin pretty Mike. raw, though. I mean, fuck, yeah. he's just like, you just go sit down in the car. <laughs> 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 just we, we need to get news here, you know. Oh, wow. my God, bro. That's the realness sometimes, you know. Yeah. I mean, sometimes the real goes wrong sometimes, though. And <laughs> when keeping yeah. it real goes wrong. Yeah, when keeping it real goes wrong, yeah. All right, well, let, let's keep going with this because this is, uh, what, what about this one, Dave? This is... Uh, this is more hilarious than anything, bro. Is, uh... I don't even. I'm. I'm still speechless. <laughs> How did you find this girl? Wow. What were you doing, pops, in fucking Tennessee? <laughs> <laughs> this is King of the Road, and you had to find a lookalike. And yeah. You found this girl that. I mean, it's a. Spit, it's a spitting image, bro. It really. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. That is insane. Who found her? We, it was the very first night at King of the Road. We opened our fucking book at midnight. And then like 10 minutes after we opened the book and we start reading through the challenges, we hear like a fucking swarm of skateboards coming down the street, like 30 plus dudes. <laughs> you look out and yeah, that's this whole flock of them migrating up street and uh we called out like yo like guys like stop like we're on king of the road and like we just opened our book like do you want to help us like maybe you can help us with some challenges and like went down there and like pretty much like showed them the whole book because like 
we didn't know any like spots or whatever when they saw the challenge of find a a skater or find a girl who looks like a member of the team they're like dude we have we have a friend whose girlfriend looks just like gravette we've been telling him for years (laughs) (laughs) Um, uh, we made plans to meet up and um dude it sucked because they totaled their car on the way there like oh no we were at the skate park for like five hours waiting almost like just people were getting bummed like fuck we're losing all this time just to get one challenge and stuff and we were luckily we were at a skate park so people were trying to work <laughs> on what they could and well it was worth it man yeah, it was yeah. worth the wait oh, the taxi the dude had totaled his car i felt so bad for the for both of them like it was a shitty fucking situation. You totally your car and then show up and everyone just starts freaking out that you look like a fucking <laughs> dude, but she, was not like, she doesn't look like me in like a manly way. Like she's not like no. you could oh, use her for being like a dude. Like she's no, obviously a woman. No, no. It's not like that. It's yeah. just like we have the same like features. Yeah. But people were being a little over the top. Like people were literally like screaming, like falling on the floor and everything. It must have been all like I don't know. And we tried to like find her like a couple years later for like a thrasher follow up. We did another King of the Road, and Joe was like, Hammocky was like, it'd be cool to do like a Where Are You Now? And we tried, got a hold of like the Fuck You crew. That was the big swarm that we mm. met up with. Shout out to those dudes for helping out. And, uh, um, couldn't find her. They're like, dude, she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> Amazing. I, I do fall. I, 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 I found her on the gram. It's not like I'm le- like somebody fucking pointed her out the last time I like posted something about it. And I didn't really want to be like, Hey, it's, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. I feel like, like this fucking it's a weird one again? to approach. Yeah. I, if I was her. I, I might hate me. <laughs> for a while there, you could not go like anytime I'd try to like look for something that I needed, like see it, like start typing my name and, Get as soon as you hit David G, it would be like David Griffith look like. Oh no! Way. <laughs> Amazing. That's it's so good though. It really it's is. It's so good. La is a good sport though. You For know, sure. good sport. I love the oh, smile 100%. right there, dude. It's perfect. Yeah, Amazing. I mean, we just like she took a bong rip, and I was like <laughs> a joint. So like. <laughs> Uh, my type of girl. I love it, man. I love it. What about this yeah. one, Dave? This is come on, bro. What are you doing right <laughs> yeah. here, bro? Like what? that is the sketchiest thing I've ever seen. That's what happens when that was during my hip popping out process. Oh, okay. Like I <laughs> would go to spots and literally like I skated so I filmed a lot of tricks when I couldn't bend down and Ollie. Like I, there was no way at this point that I could ollie up a two stair. Oh wow! I could do wow. these. I could get up a curb with these like little half ones. But if I really concentrated that muscle to like spring load, mm-hmm. I was dust. I spring loaded my hip right out of my fucking groin. Damn. And that is just a trick. I've been dropping in like that since fucking thirteen or. 12 or something and (laughs) i hadn't done it on anything in a long time and we were just (laughs) there and i was it's like fuck i should do that do this it was really scary (laughs) look how sketchy first of all you 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 have to have both feet on the on the tail then you You have to not hit your knees on the fucking nose that's the hardest thing about it oh oh, when you do it on stuff that isn't vertical like that goes like vert basically at the top so your board sits pretty high and like it takes a while to drop like i think that's what it is because i know it doesn't on mellower stuff you don't worry about hitting your knees but on that because the boards are like up more than it normally Mm -hmm. would be yeah you you have to get on it a little quicker too to get it or else you'll just god i can't see how big that drop is but geez just a surround yeah is it is the same drop on the other side now it's a bowl. It's a bowl on the other side, but it's not at the time. The deck of the bowl is all like not built. So mm. it's it's a bit of a death trap over there too. But it's it's mostly the the left my left hand side during it. It's got the the drop, but Jeez, that looks insane, that, man. Yeah, that's looks sketchy, bro. 
a bit. Yeah, I know. Mean, I love a little, hey, you get hurt and you'll start doing different tricks. Just to- <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can see Tony. Tony's in the background at the end. He was like my main. He lived with me for a while. That guy right there. Um, oh, the in the beanie? Yeah. Yeah. And he was he probably put my hip back in more than anyone else. And he was getting pretty over it. He's probably looking like, God damn it. I hope he like people were, didn't even want me to come skate a lot of the time. They'd just be like, after my hip had came out like five times, they'd just be like, just fucking stop. Like, why are you doing this? And like, (laughs) we're tired of seeing it. Like nobody, it wasn't, so why there was hardly any when it came when it was all over and people wanted like the story behind it and I wanted to like have footage of everything I realized that it was pretty hard to even find it happened so many times there should have and there was footage of of it but people like wouldn't save it when it just wasn't even something somebody wanted to film anymore it was right. just like a yeah it episode so much. of sadness that like but there, I mean, there was a few, there is clips of it, but not, I as mean, much when your hip pops warm. out, is there, I mean, <laughs> you, can, you can't walk, right? I mean, it's, it's literally like how well, some were worse than others. Okay. Like I'd, sometimes I would be like bordering it and I could do hobble, but sometimes it would be so bad. And you literally like any, like you couldn't even move your upper body without like horrible pain. Oh and yeah, I would, I would get in some pretty dark places, especially before I realized how to do it myself and my chick, like, wasn't strong enough to do it. So there'd be, like, I went to sleep with my hip out, like, multiple times because, like, we just couldn't get it back in. And I'd just, like, oh lay God, there. God, I'd, dude, I'd, like, wake up bit. with it fucking back in. and Oh, oh you just so knock was, it back in and while you're sleeping? I guess just relaxed enough to, I mean, it yeah. got out pretty easy. So it yeah, yeah. gets in pretty easy as well. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even imagine, bro. <laughs> just, <sighs> just going to sleep uncomfortable, like with your hip. Oh, not in place. <laughs> bro. No, thanks. You are a <laughs> champion, bro. What about this, man? Look at this. First of all. Oh, this is a random one. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Well, because I mean, like just a 50, 50, that thing, but then you nose wheelied out of it. It's, 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 it's insane. <laughs> I mean, it yeah, looks like a fun I mean, 50 50. It's, it's, I remember that being, for some reason, the memory in my head, I was stoked that I draw. I would have never like cho- that was actually kind of scary to drop in on, but like, and I never would have gone out to even do it, but I just wanted to grind around that thing mm-hmm. in a way that was cool, mm-hmm. so bad. And that was also the first. 540 i did was that so that was a really good session it was the first like just arrived in spain and the first session was i met everyone at this skate park diy thing and we skated into the night there was good music playing mm. i was You're at that it. age where i was sipping cans and feeling really good and skating <laughs> yeah. all day and <laughs> yeah good session I so is that man. oh shit is that rail like? Is that gonna be like a quarter pipe there? Is that was what it was? I yeah, it looked like it was about to be some sort of mm. little taco thing. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Before they see they're gonna in, build yeah. something out. Yeah. Mm. Huh. What an interesting spot, man. Dude, that would be like my dream obstacle. It would be like a whole trap, like just a slappy fifty-fifty that went on. Like <sighs> maybe that's what. That's what I'll build for my DIY. It's just like the most the stupidest, cra- like slappy 50 50 that I never even get to complete. I just, every day I just go like try to get a little further, like try to get past the next fucking obstacle. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the, actually, that, yeah. that drop in looks kind of sketched, bro. Yeah, it's fucking. Jeez. Uh, little... Dude, with bad, with bad hips, you don't like to do things like that. Right. If you get that throw, that throw into the ground can be pretty. And that's a tight transition too. Definitely yeah, tight transition. dude. Fuck, it's quick. That was cool, man. That was a cool clip. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. And then what were you trying to do right here? A nose grind or something? Or 50? I think I was just trying to get speed around the corner to hit that fl- <laughs> the fly out that is not pictured here. But <laughs> okay. where the camera guy's standing pretty much is where the fucking money fly out was. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. That's where the, the first 540 went down. Oh. Oh, what about this one, dude? 
<laughs> this is insane. Is this? Yeah. What? Dude's... Is is that just there, like blocking that, or did you? Yeah. You didn't no, stack. No, that was just totally there. Like, what? Well, what? Why is and that there? Why they do that? Yeah. I don't know. I'm surprised. And it's a BMXer actually recently just sent me a clip of a biker there and asked why, like, has why skateboarders don't do more stuff here, mm. and I don't really know. Well, I mean, it, well, no, it's <laughs> from a, from a biker. Oh well, skate. I mean, why? What is? What could skaters really do there? <laughs> I mean, you did you know it. I mean, yeah, it got better than that. Yeah, like, like, but they, didn't someone else skate recently too? Or am I tripping? Did they? I, I don't know. I'm thinking. I feel like a, a foot plant over it could work. Like could uh, maybe get a foot off and fucking oh no comply over it or something. But That's just such a. I hear random... it's easier. It's easier to skate now too. I guess it's like <laughs> lower. <laughs> the walls lower. I don't know. Okay. That's what. Somebody's told me, hmm. but it just looks like the weirdest thing. Like why they would stack up those little bricks there yeah. and cement them in, like the, for no good reason. Like what, yeah, what, why? What's the, change, pur- what's the purpose it, it, it of that? It comes to the right, and there's some stairs that go down, right? Yeah, what's to the, the left? Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, there's stairs to the left of it. Yeah, but like, there's oh, stairs. Yeah. But to the right, if you're walking down the right side of the rail, you're just gonna run in. You have to then yeah, you make a sharp left, left <laughs> and then like <laughs> why not obscure. just keep going down? Yeah. Yeah, why change the path of the stairs, yeah. right? Like, no, no, we don't want you to walk down. We want you to go left and then go down the stairs. Like, <laughs> Dude, it would be an easy... It kind of blends in with the sidewalk. Some, like, an old person yeah. could trip over that or something. It's that could kind be. of a hazard, yeah. A little bit. Wow. Uh, well, it doesn't really blend in that much. No, but, but it... it, it <laughs> <laughs> but it does, though. I mean... Yeah. I, it looks scary. I don't. I don't know. It looks like I've seen some. Some bikers have done some fucking gnarly shit. Some tire ride. Fucking. I could see that. Bar spins yeah, yeah, out. Sure. I could see stuff. that. But just the fact that when there's something at the bottom like that, there's a lot that can go wrong. You know, yes. and that's just really scary to me. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I got that hurt in that clip with that that one little bit of the legs going over. Like, <laughs> I mean, that can. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i love it man that was uh, uh, another good one good setup for sure god we have so many clips man I, i'm just kind of going days, through yeah i'm just kind of going through them man bank to rail 50 what about the end yeah, was this one this one. Oh, that that's the one where the failed backflip came after the this <laughs> oh in, okay Dude, that's yeah, dude, that's dude. I, I mean, I really do bro. think that was probably one of the fucking scariest yeah, dude. things I might have ever like. That rail is really tall from that bank. Like, it took every look at the, dude, fucking the whole air ass to travel to get enough. Like, the rail was set back so far, but and it was tall enough. That's sketchy. And you needed the momentum to carry. Like, I can't believe I didn't take any real bad like flip overs, hmm. but. Dude. God, and you were, you were, scary, you were literally sure. standing up on that thing. I mean, you had to, that. but still, it's like, wow. And yeah, people, towards the end there. Towards the end, yeah. People skate that one bank you wrote down, right? Like, um, the, They do, like, flip tr- tricks from that bank. To oh, the, that's what it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. To the drop. To, man. Yeah, that was gnarly, man. That was psycho. Whoo. Yeah. Take a lot of tries, though? Um, a good amount, not like it didn't turn into one of the all day fucking endeavors, but I did have one where I made it to the end and came to the bank and I fell on the bank and that was like really heartbreaking because <laughs> it was like a, like really, really scary every, every go in at it. So, well, I mean, look how high up yeah. you are compared to that bank. I mean, you, you, you bail from yeah. there. I mean, I wish there was like a a vertical shot of just. Uh, I mean, it it looks good from there, or whatever. But just to show, oh, I see what you're going into the, the height. No, just the height of that yeah. rail from where the bank is. From where you take off. Yeah. Right. Psycho. I like mean, it's God, scary to get. You have to get yeah. into it. So squatted. Yeah. You, like, into it, you were look saying that. earlier that like you you're surprised you didn't have any like the roll off or. Like you didn't like, like you shoot didn't, like it, it literally looked like it wanted to let 
go heel side out yes catch mm-hmm. the back of your legs and mm-hmm. like flip off that onto your back and exactly even if you didn't go off the tall side even the low side was like Jeez. tall that's, that's like your worst nightmare shit right there yeah, yeah like you would go boom slip Wor- right out worst like fucking your head backwards yeah. into that bank like get the Dude. fuck out of here bro god that's insane Whew, good I day. bet that felt good though. Hell, oh man, no, I was that was one of <laughs> the best relief feelings. after that but, one, huh? You're like I don't have to do that shit again. Yeah, I was so stoked. Fuck, and yeah. then I went and tried to backflip at the demo and landed on my head. <laughs> 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 trying, just trying to ride that wave, man. Yeah. Like, hey, this has been a good day. Hell yeah. Damn. It was still a good. I mean, it, I didn't get that hurt on that. I just I learned that lesson though to not try them. Fucking out of control. <laughs> God, I I trip out on stuff like that, man. Cause look at that, dude. Mm-mm. That's I couldn't even imagine just being up there and like, oh God, I gotta. Uh, the the rail goes this way. Now I gotta kind of get off into the bed. Ba- Trust me, I'm like, whew. Yeah, after that, it would have been a cel- celebratory day. Yeah, I tell you that. Super it, sick. it was for sure. Just Did someone cool. bring you to that spot? Like someone was like, "Yo, I got this rail for you." Oh man, I can't remember exact. Like that is a skate spot. Like I can't remember if we went there because somebody. I hope I'm not like somebody out there is like, dude, I'm the fucking one who told you to fucking <laughs> <laughs> probably there. Like, I just, <laughs> <I'm> never, <laughs> tell. <laughs> yeah, I, maybe it was your lookalike that brought you there. <laughs> I can say I don't think it was that. Okay, okay. It was, it was in know. El Paso. It might have been an El Paso homie. Okay. Probably someone at the Crook Skate Shop. Um, there you go. But yeah, we went there and I s- saw that. And so sick. Fucking so stoked that it worked Fuck out. Fuck yeah, yeah, man. Scratched that Thrasher cover itch that had, was a pretty tough one to get to. What about this one, man? This is... Uh... Oh, this is a good one, man. The dumb, uh, Smith grind. Smith grind here. Ooh. Oh! Yeah. These are the such random clips. <laughs> yeah. That's what we do, Same. baby. That's what we do. Dude, that was not a good day because my <laughs> fucking, right after I did this, my really good friend dislocated his elbow trying to crooked grind that. Oh. Damn, dude. And it was, uh, yeah, it was not good. I don't like to see fucking people get hurt. He tried to no. crook. He tried to crook that dude, and he was doing it so good. But he was going, he was creeping and just like sitting on it and trying to pop um, out. He just didn't get into it on one of them and just Trips kind of himself. Well, the, well, it looks like the Superman. angle of it's super hard for I, for regular footed, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You got to curb backside into it. Like, yeah, it was bad, and that elbow really turned into a fucking nightmare for him. I, he dislocated it again another time when I was standing right there. Oh God, <laughs> the only God. two times it's happened has been when I've <laughs> been right there. It was kind of funny because <laughs> right after he he got he was he was my roommate at the time, and he didn't have health insurance when he did that. Oh man, and he ended up having to like, um get an ambulance ride, like an overnight oh, in the hospital, like God, surgery, all this oh, stuff. Man. But he got out of it all for like under three grand or something. And Amazing. then like a week later, I ended up, that's when I first dislocated my shoulder. And like, I had to get surgery and all this stuff. And I had health insurance, but I ended up getting dropped by my health insurance three months after my surgery and stuck with thousands and thousands and thousands of oh, like, thousands of dollars of fucking (laughs) debt and i couldn't even go to like my fucking um i had to sue my insurance company three times to get out of that one i was fucking three times fuck health insurance based on that shit bro you're like paying i have dude i have a ball and chain tattooed on my leg where the ball says insurance dot incorporated Oh my god! It literally fucked that's me so, so many lame. times. God, that's and the homie got out of it three thousand dollars. You're like, what the fuck happened? What's the difference? Yeah, where and he didn't have yeah. insurance. Wow, dude. And we both got lifelong fucking our lives. Both. I mean, his elbow ain't right. My shoulder ain't right. Damn. So that wasn't the happiest session. And 
Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. But I, I could see that that's an interesting spot to skate because you have to go fast. You're not really alling that high, you know. It's kind of just this quick kind of off on and the off. The thing that's also weird about that plastic thing is it's slanted the other way. Like on the it's the like a trash it, like a mailbox to, type oh, thing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It goes down. It's like tilted. Yeah. So it's Which makes kind, it a good smith. Yeah, so it's kind of like a rail almost. Yeah. The way that it's like angled on the backside. Huh. But it is, if you go heel side, it will flip you real good. Gotcha. If you don't lock your truck in. And I guess another thing to talk about here is how many clips that I've kind of ruined for myself with my boxers hanging out <laughs> the back of my fucking... Dude, it's such a... my Something about my body shape, my pants go down and my boxers go up. <laughs> <laughs> I blame it on fucking no ass. But no ass. I don't know. Listen, Nothing's I, holding them I I have that problem too, man. I don't have an Sucks. ass. Yeah. Yeah. Finding good on yeah. Finding Well maybe good just not red. Oh. Maybe just black. I know. Yeah, red underwear, huh? That's and red <laughs> shoes and I mean, pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Boxers you guys tend to do a, that though. You guys rise. picked a winner. I looked stupid, and it was a terrible day. You guys <laughs> are jerks. Sorry about that. We thought it was a sick. We thought it was a sick ass clip. <laughs> it's all good. They can't all be winners. Yeah. Well, listen, but. man. Listen, this is not a winner either, but it's fucking gnarly. Um, the the warehouse oh, yeah. at uh, oh. yeah, NHS. NHS heartbreaker. So. This a is lot a, of work went in for one try. <laughs> what What do you mean a lot of work? Like, you know, I mean, that's in the warehouse of Creature, right. and we had to move, like, see where those uh, cardboard boxes are taped over? Yep. That's uh, found, like, platforms for these fucking... Gotcha. Um, like the pallet, like the pallet the stands. Pallets. Yeah. Huh. Scaffoldings. Wait, so the, what happened? Like you, you get did you get fucked up right there? Yeah, I somehow dislocated my apparently my good shoulder. I'd never had problems with my left shoulder before. Still to this day, I don't know what happened. I've watched this footage in slow-mo. Like part of me almost thinks it dislocates while I'm fucking on the rail. While which it's my left while it gets behind me there. Mm. And maybe the or maybe the I don't know. Like, dude, yeah. I, what the hell? Because the, the, when you slam, it doesn't, it looks bad, but it doesn't look bad enough to dislocate. Like you didn't like land on the side of your, no. of your, you know, to dislocate it, but maybe right there with the, the velocity. Yeah. It's very strange. Huh? It down Cause it did slip. I, I waxed. It was too slippery. I was slipping out. And you I see it like whip back right there. Yeah. It does whip back. Mm -hmm. Huh. You do have kind of a, the Heath Kirchard arm right there. Oh, yeah. Dude, that. that might be it. Mm hmm. It went back right there, dude. Yeah. And that the wax that I'm like the wax on the rail, like you wax the rail. But it's your left one, right? So, yeah, it does. Yeah, it, that was the left one. It does kind of. Like, right. Wait, so that was the only a weird too. one. Mm hmm. That was the only try right there? Yeah, the only. And it was. I had a week there. I was staying in fucking Santa Cruz for a week and I decided like we decided I was going to do it at like the Friday after like everyone was done working and I just had to sit on it for all that time and I was like at NHS almost every day like looking at it and um then we went to work at the beginning of that day moving everything we had to, the whole top of the runway was filled with boxes we had to move like all this product that might have been why my shoulder fucking popped out easy is because i spent that whole day lifting heavy shit mm -hmm. and yeah. uh wow then <laughs> um dan z shot the photo and we had to wait like an extra like two or three hours for him because there was a bank robbery in San Francisco and the guy fucking fled down the same highway to Santa Cruz and like caused the whole like police like Dan was stuck on the fucking road for hours. Whoa. So I was just sitting there just waiting and waiting and waiting. And but I was so I was confident mm -hmm. this was supposed to be my like I didn't really have an ender for that 
creature video at the time and like we were just gonna kind of do this because it was in creature and lee sharon is fucking and it was i mean it's a big yeah it's a big rail too yeah. and but lee sharon is at the top of that ladder with a whole pile of airplane mini bottles that he was gonna like <sighs> i was supposed to fucking land and like come over there and he's gonna like shower me with fucking <laughs> liquor bottles oh my <laughs> God. I, we were gonna have i hadn't like i mean i i literally don't drink very much and i save it for like these celebration right. like i hadn't drank in a while at this point and oh, man. just trying to be in condition i was so ready to have the best like i was we were gonna have like a really good night after this and it's <laughs> And I'd made jokes about like because all the work people went into doing this. I was like, what if I just try it? No, I think I was on the optimum. I was like, what if I just make it like first try? It'll almost be like too much work for that. Or but I didn't yeah. get one try and it was a nightmare day. I couldn't get I tried really hard to get my shoulder back in at the warehouse because I'd experienced with my right shoulder. I kind of knew what to do, but it wouldn't go back in. So I just said, just take me to the fucking hospital and Damn. Santa Cruz ER got to be the worst ER I've ever fucking been into. Just fuck those guys, man. They were awful to me. I, the first thing I did was walk because I experienced, I knew exactly what was going on and it's so painful for me. I don't, I know I've seen other people dislocate their shoulders and not be in that much pain, mm -hmm. but like, and I'm not in pain for the first 10 minutes, but then it just, I'm in more pain than I've ever been in my fucking life. Like, and I didn't want, and I knew it was so bad when I did my right shoulder, like surgeons were like, we've never seen anyone tear this much of their fucking labrum Jeez. plus all of your rotator cuff plus your labrum. And some of that had been contributed to how long my shoulder was out. Cause the first time I, my shoulder was out for like an hour. Mm. So this time I was determined to get it back in as quick as possible. So when we got to the ER, I went straight back in. I didn't fucking stop at the counter. <laughs> I went straight back in to find a doctor and uh, I found someone like walking. I was like, my shoulder's out. Like I know exactly what's going on. Like I'm a professional skateboarder. My body is like everything to me. And like this happened with my right shoulder. And I just tried to give her like the rundown, like as quick as I or as, That one was a dude actually, but it doesn't matter. But, <laughs> and uh, I, they were actually cool at first they were like, okay, just stay here for a second. And then someone else like saw me and was like, what are you doing back here? And I told them what was up and they're like, this isn't how the ER works. Like you have to go wait and like, you have, you can't just come back here. Oh and I knew that. And I'd like, but I knew what was, I just needed someone to put my shoulder in and it was starting to hurt really bad. And then I went back to the ER and maybe they were just going to punish me from that point on. And <sighs> They put me in a room for hours, oh. hours without seeing somebody. And I was, I kept sneaking out and trying to find some, I was in so much fucking pain. It was literally <laughs> the worst. I've been hung out with my testicle out of my fucking body. I've broken fucking everything. I've God experienced damn. it all. And this is like <laughs> the worst pain. And I'm, tr I'm in this room trying everything I can to get my shoulder. And I'm picking up fucking random bits of equipment, trying to get weight on my arm trying to fucking just do everything and they won't fucking help me. They're always super rude whenever I just try to beg them for some help. Cause I'm literally like, I'm, I can't believe I wasn't blacking out. Like I was like, how much pain do I have to be in to black out? Hey, wow. And when they finally fucking showed me a doctor, he couldn't get my fucking arm back in. So then they're like, we're gonna have to put you under to get your arm back in. And then they, started putting me under and I have a, I've woken up during, I have a pretty high tolerance with the fucking <laughs> shit, I guess. Like I woke up from an ankle surgery as well. Oh my God, dude. They wow. trying to put me down and I'm not going to sleep yet. And they're like, just telling me to like breathe on this mask. And the late, the nurses are being so rude. Like they don't think that I can remember or hear them. And they're just like, I hate this guy. He's so fucking annoying. Like <laughs> just go to, and I'm like, you guys are awful. Like this is the worst <laughs> day of my life. And you've been so horrible to me. Like this is horrible. And 
they're just like go to sleep like they kept telling me to go to sleep (laughs) and then the doctor just started messing with my arm and stuff and i was kind of like i was pretty i was pretty fucked up that's for sure but i wasn't out and um (laughs) he was fucking with it and i was like ah then he went away and I started getting more coherent and I was like, you guys, like you better get the doctor in here. Cause I'm starting to get more less, coming back fucked up. and like your shoulders back in. And I'm like, Oh, Oh, thank God. Like <laughs> Jesus, it was just such a nightmare. And then they sent me a huge fucking bill. I'm sure. And I tried to, I wrote them a letter and pleaded my case about like, how horribly I was treated and like, I didn't want to pay for being put, I didn't want to pay for the anesthesiologist mm. and all that stuff. Cause I felt like if they would have seen me in a reasonable manner and put my shoulder in, then I wouldn't have had to get put down and all right. this stuff. Right. And they did nothing for me. And that's the thing with these emergency rooms. It's like you pay for the emergency room, then you pay for the doctor, then you pay for the anesthesiologist, then you pay for the nurse. And yeah, you, much, so it's like much. you get eight bills. It's crazy, right? It, yeah. It comes ins- from all different yeah. places. No, it's insane. Yeah. Like our medical system is fucked. It really is. There's got to be a point where you have to help somebody when they're like in pain. That like I no one else in the fucking ER was in as much pain and had such a simple thing to be fixed. That's the thing. Like it takes it takes so little effort. Like when I first dealt with my right one, I was sat out of the ER for like 45 minutes, and I was in so much pain and my roommate the same dude who dislocated his elbow was there and he was um talk like telling him like yo like my friend is like dying over there like you need to help him and stuff and they're just like we'll see him when we see him and i actually went to the counter and told the lady i was gonna break every finger on my hand if i didn't see a doctor and i started bending (laughs) my fingers back and she was like, okay, okay, like, like, come with me. And I literally, within five minutes of that, I had my shoulder back in. Jeez. So that's why when I went to the ER, I thought I could just feel like I just, like, need to, like, that's how bad it hurts, though, is that you I'm just need to a break, room. like, you like start bending your fingers back again. Done. I know, that's a good technique. It's going to throw craze. Yeah, it's it's throw craze. Dude, I mean. Whatever it takes. Like I said, it's just a pain I haven't experienced. Fuck. It's like you're. I mean, I can't even describe it. And I felt like I've had kidney stone. I've fucking done a lot of the things that take a lot of pain. Yeah, her kidney stone is fucking next level. Yeah, Yeah. that's Mm. right here too, bro. So all of that from this lip slide. Yeah. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) Wow. What was the, what were you shooting it for though? That was the creature, the one that just called the creature video, I think. Oh, okay. (laughs) Got lazy with the name there. (laughs) It's a creature video? It's a creature video. Man. And then the the tour that we did was just the creature tour. (laughs) Creature tour. (laughs) Marketing geniuses. I love it, bro. Was Lee running it back then? Direct. Yeah. He's amazing. Dude, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's he's a great guy. Where is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to yeah, it's on your it's on my left. Right? No, on, my on left. your left. Hey, yeah. hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> please. The, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of like Oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.